All right, so now we're going to go through the steps to set up MailChimp for your Bubble app, um, which is MailChimp's great for, for a variety of marketing things. Email marketing is their, their sort of primary bread and butter. Um, and we'll, we'll walk through the steps to add the plugin for MailChimp in Bubble, set up a, a MailChimp account, grab the API keys for MailChimp, update them in Bubble so that you can connect the um, the two services, and then uh, we'll quickly show a workflow of how you can then automatically add users to your MailChimp email list uh, as they take an action on your site. So for instance, if someone signs up, you can automatically send them over to your MailChimp list so that any you know MailChimp campaign that you sent out would include up-to-date uh, all of your people who have signed up for your for your business, for your application. So the first thing we're going to do is install the plugin. So you can see I already have it installed here. Um, but if you're going to do it from scratch, you want to go to add plugins, do a quick search for MailChimp. All right, so as you can see, quick search for MailChimp. There are a couple options that come up, sort of like a quick heuristic for which one to use. For me, sometimes it's just like, what's the most popular? I know that's not perfect, but it's free. It's made by Bubble, and by far the most people use it. Um, so that's typically the one I go with, unless there's like a very specific thing that you need that is called out in the description of something different. Um, but as you can see, I already have this one installed. I can uninstall it, but I'm going to leave it for now. We're going to close out of that and look at the actual plugin. What you can see is that in the plugin description, there's space for API keys. So these are old API keys for um, a different account. We're going to update them, and I'll show you how to do that. So if we go over to MailChimp and sign up for free. So we're going to use the newly created email address that we just set up in the past video that's also in the Startup Starter Kit um, to set up an email account with your new URL through Gmail. All right, so it's saying, so right when I uh, signed up, it's saying that it sent me a link to activate my account. I'll click over to my email. All right, here we go. An email from MailChimp. Click to activate the account. It's gonna open up a new tab. All right, let's get this show on the road. Need to prove I'm not a robot. All right, I don't know why that took a second, but here we go. All right, so MailChimp is convinced I'm not a robot. And as you can see, we have an account set up sequence they're gonna walk us through. As you can see, there's quite a few paid plans that as you scale, you can leverage more and more as uh, you get more and more value out of them. The really nice thing is that there's a free plan as well. So right when you're starting out, you don't have a ton of contacts. It's a great option. That's what we're going to use. We're going to go step by step through these. We'll see you at the end. All right, so I went through all the steps to set up an account. Um, that should be pretty straightforward. You can just follow the, the onboarding for MailChimp. They've done a good job of making it uh, sequential and, and easy to understand. They ask you a variety of things to figure out more about your business, to um, make the content that they're suggesting more relevant. So really what we care about here is, as you remember, back in Bubble, we need API keys. So the way to grab that is we're sort of in our overview dashboard. They have a variety of other things they like us to do, connecting a uh, store, for instance, but we're going to go directly to the source. If you click down here on uh, sort of profile settings,
All right, so once you land on your account, you've got the sort of name of your business across the top. You have a, a couple different settings here and options uh, to click into. What you're gonna wanna do is click into extras. And as you can see here, this is where we'll grab our API keys. So they've got some content to help explain exactly what this is. We're gonna jump right into it and create a key. All right, it says our new API key is ready to use. All right, and here it is. So we're gonna copy it back over in Bubble in our plugin section for MailChimp. We're gonna add that key for uh, the live environment, so in production as well as in development. And that should allow us to connect with MailChimp. And as I mentioned, you're gonna want to send people over automatically. So for instance, when they sign up is a good time. So if you click into sign up, the button here, um, start edit workflow, button sign up is clicked. You're gonna send a, a welcome email, sign the user up, do a variety of things. And you can see that I already have here, step four, add an email to MailChimp list. So the way you would get that is if you clicked and got the drop down of actions that are available to you. So sometimes it's in the plugin section. I don't see it here. The other good place to guess, yep, email. So in the email section, you can add an email to MailChimp list or remove an email from a MailChimp list. So that's the action I've used to get step four here. You can see when I click into step four, I'm essentially passing through the email address. So the input emails, signups, value to the list name that we created. So Makers Inc and only want to do that when the email signup is valid. But this is going to send the email that the person uses to sign up for your website to MailChimp so that you can start to build your list of marketing emails in the MailChimp platform automatically. And as you also saw, you can, there's, a, there's an action to remove someone from a list as well. So in your application, uh, you likely should have the ability for people to select what type of communication they're getting from you. So in a settings, for instance, you could have receive marketing messages. And if they opt out, then you could remove them from your MailChimp list to make sure that you're not spamming them with uh, emails that they don't want. All right, so you should be set up. You now have your unique URL. You've got your Gmail account with the email at your unique URL and uh, MailChimp set up to uh, manage your email marketing. Should be good to go.